What's up, my lovely jewels and gems? I'm back. It's y'all girl, Nettie Nat. I'm here to talk today because I've been seeing some videos of our girl. And I'm going to say our girl because I look at, like, you know, I told y'all before. Everybody who is on the YouTube streets, meaning signed up as YouTubers, we kind of like, um, we all work for the same employer at the end of the day. Not all of us are getting paid. Not all of us are getting paid the same. None of us are. Some of us are not getting treated well. Some get treated like gold. Happens on every day in an employer's office as well. So, I just wanted to tell y'all. A couple of months ago, I came to you guys. And we were talking about um, a girl named Shanita. And... She had some beef with her sister-in-law, Keisha Anderson. So, she was on there cussing her out and going off and this and that. And again, I came back because I feel like family should not be airing people's business out there. Because once it's out there, it's everywhere. And when she did that, you know, the blog, the vlogs picked her up. Um, she was on um, Lipstick Alley. She was all over, and people were just talking about her and calling her all kinds of liars. And some of them were rooting for her. And me, I just kind of tried to pray for her because I knew something was wrong. Something was going on. I ain't going to necessarily say wrong, but I could tell her content was real. That she was telling the truth about something, but she didn't know what she wanted to tell so at the time she apparently had three kids and she was pregnant with triplets but i'm not sure because i haven't been following what all the way but i believe that she lost her babies may god rest their soul now i'm finding out that she is homeless now, my thing is that now we go back to family. I know she went through some stuff with her brother who is a bigger YouTuber. Or, you know, he's in a relationship with a bigger YouTuber. Um, and this is a question I want to ask y'all. I, I never say this and I'm going to put it in there. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, just to help us show some love, um, come through, check out our videos. Sometimes I try to be real, sometimes I try to be silly, but more than anything, I am true. And I want you guys to know from the heart how I feel about things, so that's why I love. Um, so my heart is broken now because now I'm seeing this lady out here that has three children and her landlord put all her stuff on the street like they ain't even let her move her stuff out of her house so where she was living at people took all her stuff and now i'm seeing videos is this a fake hoax to get money this that if it is if it isn't I really don't think it is. I think that she's really trying to be real and show y'all that not everybody is successful. Not everybody has that golden award at the end of the day, that beautiful bed to sleep in or the the, the, the condos or those, those houses, the, whatever. Not everybody has that. It's what you call real life, everyday living. You have to pay bills in order to live you have to pay a light bill first of all you have to pay rent to a rent man or your landlord depending on where you stay you have to pay light bills we all have phones so we got a phone bill you know you got your electric bill your light your phone bill your cable bill most people some people don't even have cable these days if y'all know like i know <laughs> anyway um you live how you have to live. But at the end of the day, I feel like you, you got to handle those basic necessities in order to survive. Or even put food in your refrigerator for your children. Now, good thing she does have her mother. So I'm sure, and I know she's been showing her mother helping her out. God, that's her. Because that's something I don't have. Um... But 
I want to think back to her brother and sister-in-law. If it was y'all and your sister did everything on camera, video, whatever. I guess she did kind of slander her name, but you know, in the YouTube business is messing up my brand, my money, business, however. Do y'all feel like this girl should be on the streets like this or going through what she's going through? I guess what I'm trying to say is when people do things to hurt people and make mistakes, don't know if it was a mistake because I don't know their family business. I'm just telling y'all from what I see on camera. Do you hold that to them when it comes down to life? needs and I guess I should say that like I love my niece dearly but I babysat last week for about eight nine hours thinking she was on a shift later on that night Instagram pops up and she's partying so when she came did I say to her immediately I saw you partying I don't know if I should be watching a baby because I only said I would babysit when, you, when you're out at work. That's what I said as an auntie. If she had have asked me prior, maybe earlier, not the same day because that's what happened. And said, I, you know, I want to go out with my friends and party. Can you watch the baby? I love him. I don't mind having him around. But I didn't like being lied to. You know, I just don't like being stories told. To find out later that you know she wasn't where I thought she was if there was an emergency and I needed to run there she was nowhere near where I thought she was so that's something important that yes me as an auntie hasn't talked to her about but I will because that's important stuff to know when you're a mother and you have children you can't tell somebody you're somewhere and you're a half hour or so further God forbid something happens to either one. You're not as close as you thought you were, you know. So that's something that my mom always taught me, you know. There was a girl babysitting and the dad told her, the mom told her she couldn't babysit. The dad, she went to ask her dad if she could babysit. The dad told her to go ahead and babysit. So later on that day, there was a fire at their house. And the mom ran back in to look for her daughter. The daughter who wasn't there. She didn't know. She thought her daughter was sleeping in the bed. So, if you guys read between the lines, you know the outcome of that story. So, it's very important to communicate with friends, family members, or anything. Especially when it comes to your children or someone doing you favors or watching them. Because it's very important, you know. Um, I've been taking care of a friend's baby for the last two or three days she came to visit and I take care of her like she's my own do I let her walk down the steps ahead of me? no I don't let my son do it so why would I let her? she's a baby though so you know gotta watch the babies at the end of the day what I'm trying to say is when you have someone else's prized possession in your hands, you should take care of it like it's yours. You know, I'm talking in circles because I'm so for these kids these days. But at the same time, we're back at this lady who has children and she needs. So why isn't her family there to help her? Because YouTube got in the way, meaning videos gotten away or is she that bad of a person you know I don't know so y'all can see some of the videos out there there's T channels that have videos of everything that's going on in her life as well as she does so you know I'm going to keep up I'll keep y'all updated right with what I see so far but if she happens to see this I would say stay strong keep looking to God keep being real 
You know, because in the beginning, I'm a deep, I have to apologize. In the beginning, I thought you were being kind of mean. Don't like people going for family. But at the end, I'm seeing and watching that you're just trying to be real and show these children out here that everyday life is not real i try to tell them that i mean everyday life is real you know not everybody ends up with thousands of dollars check a month and be able to buy the house they want and put the food in the refrigerators that they want to or put the i'm not even gonna say name brand because i'm not into all that but put the basic necessities in their on their children but some of them can sit here and watch what you're going through and make it a laugh or a meme with no heart no feelings no emotions involved and that's sad but some people call themselves Christians we have to think are they really or are they false prophets? I'll leave that for y'all to decide. Because I'm not the one to judge. All I can tell y'all is. Always keep God first. And love yourselves. Because. When you love yourself. It makes it much easier. To show love to others. Although we see people out here showing love to others. And don't love themselves. Don't be one of them.